YouTube, YouTube, what up, what up? It's your boy Pops from Pops and Pooty. So, guess what? Part three. Yes, sir. All right. So, we got part three of the collection. You know what I mean? The rifles, the long rifles and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But before we start off, let's make it very clear that everything is empty. There's no ammos, no magazines, and nothing. Everything is clear, fresh out the safe. So with that being said, let's jump right into this. All right, come on, follow me. All right, right here, we got that Ruger 1022. Everybody need a good Ruger 1022 in their collection, I think. You know what I mean? It's that black synthetic stock, but it's that backpack version, you know? I got the Davidson one with the lifetime warranty, which I don't see a big difference, but whatever. This is all I can find. I wanted one, so this is what I bought. Um, yeah, I gotta go and decide on which side I wanna put on here. I wanna get me a nice little compact uh, scope that's adjustable. I found a, two, a couple that I want. I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. I ain't really been in no rush. I got it. It ain't going nowhere. It's in the collection. Oh, let me get it right for you. 12 gauge. Empty. Um, Rock Island Army 12 gauge pump. It's got a short snout on the front. Short nose. Um, I was going to buy a pump. And Andy, once again, told my wife not to let me. So she told me I can't buy no pump. Stood behind it. Normally, she'll never tell me I can't buy something. You know what I mean? But uh, this was why. He had me one already. Because he was like, man, you got everything in the collection. You ain't got no good 12-gauge pump. I was like, I'm looking at one. I told him he had already had it in his car and he would already paid for it. I was like... Well, damn. All right. So, this was this was it. I plan on getting a couple more, you know what I mean? There's a couple more I'm looking at online. See it? It's empty. So, this right here is a Rossi 92, 16-inch, and 44 mag. Stainless steel with that dark mahogany wood i like the dark mahogany wood and that's stainless so backstory on this my uncle back home has got all the henry's you could think of well before he got all the henry's this was his first lever action he regrets selling it to this day so when me and him was talking about lever actions he was like, man, I'll tell you one that I regret selling and I kicked myself in the butt for. And I was like, what's that, huh? He was like, old Rossi 92. And I was like, well, which one was it? He told me and I sent him a picture. He was like, that's it. That's it right there. So, didn't need nothing else to think about. I wanted a lever action, wanted it in 44. I just didn't want to spend that Henry money for something that I wasn't going to shoot that much. You know what I mean? Granted, they say they don't lose value, but it's a gun. Any good gun in good condition that looks good don't lose its value, if you ask me. I mean, go to gun shows and take a peek on some of the tables and stuff collectors have, private sellers, businesses. So, he's an invisible playing his game once again. That's why y'all don't see Pootie much, because he be in there on the game. Invisible. <clears throat> All right. Boat carrier ain't even in here. It's taken out. It's in the safe. Um, Ruger Precision 22 Win Mag. This is the barber. Mr. Line. Yep. Uh, you go back and peep out some of the shorts. I just be using some standard, you know what I mean? No match grade or nothing, but. I can put a hole in something at 100 yards. The reason why I bought this was because originally I was going to do a, a 338 Lapu in this. 
And after I found how much it cost to feed that baby, I had to think about it, you know what I mean? That's some expensive baby formula for that baby, you know what I'm saying? Anybody out there with that 338 Lapua? Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. That's the expensive formula, that ain't the cheap formula. That's the cheap, expensive, expensive formula. That's the bougie formula. So, I had already got something else. We'll talk about that later. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I was out shooting with the fellas one day. Matter of fact, when I missed that gun show, when I passed up on that uh, single shot Butler Association little pistol that's in the uh, handgun collection, if you go back and watch them videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. Went out to the farm with a buddy, he was shooting one of these. And it's still target. Um, all I can say is this thing is serious. It's a hard hitter. I mean, he was putting them in there, so I had to have one. So I copied up and went and got me one. ATF. This is a 37 millimeter launcher. Just so you can see, bird bangs for noise and whistling pigs. That's it. These are not destructive devices, they're fireworks. Noise bangs, that's it, that's it. Please don't come kick down the door, harm my dogs or anything like that, please don't, because I swear I'm a law-abiding citizen. I bought it simply because it's cool, that's it, that's it. 37 millimeter, I repeat, a 37 millimeter launcher. Civilian legal, civilian legal. So please don't flood the comments thinking I'm, no. I worked too hard to get what I got to be doing anything that's gonna get me taken and taken away from my family and have what I have taken away from me. So no, this is legit. But anyways, back to the gun. 16 inch AR, I built this. You know, you know the motto, you see it's empty. Um, it's, bought, it's built, not bought, uh, one and seven twists. Y'all know I keep y'all know I keep that brake on there. That's my favorite. I love that brake. Gotta have that. Everybody got their own thing that they like. This is what I like. Um, four through sixteen by fifty scope on here. Except for hundred yards, I, where I'm at, I can't really get past hundred yards unless I go to the long distance range, and they're only open through the weekend. Can't miss work to go play. You know what I mean. Unless I got vacation days and I use them most of the time for emergencies, but yeah. So this is at a hundred yards. This is a for real tack driver, like for real, for real, for real. 37 millimeter ATF, remember, 37 millimeter. So this right here, side charger too. You see the side charger because the scope is good. I'm gonna explain this. So before I even start, you know it. You know it's on there. You know it's on there. I gotta have it. Um, 24 inch, uh, 6.5 green. Um, it's an Anderson lower. Uh, built the upper. It's got the Anderson stainless steel trigger kicking in here. Um, I forget the name of this stock. Hold on. Strike Industries. Strike Industries. Uh, it's got its own little monopod in here. You know what I mean? So, when me and the boys is out doing some late night hunting, you know what I mean? This is what I take. Because this will reach out and touch something. Uh, one and eight twist on this 24 inch Grendel. It's the longest barrel that I've seen besides a custom barrel for like ex <laughs> extreme supreme long distance shooting. What I got on here is the Excite 4K ATN 3-14X uh, day and night vision scope. Um, all I can say is day and night I mean yeah, yeah. I built this because 
I was supposed to go to a thousand yard gun range, but we didn't get that going, so it's good to have. Mosin Nagat, 1947. I'm not gonna say all original, but I will say all numbers match. Um, check that out. We'll give you one more so you can see it. Got the moon sitting on you. There you go, safety was on. All right, hold on. Timmy is serious. Woo! Yeah. One and a half, maybe one and a quarter, somewhere in between. Um, 60, 24 by 50 on here. Uh, this brake. Uh, had a guy make it for me. This helps with the recoil on this tremendously. Granted, it's a rubber butt, butt stop, uh, butt, Butt stock pad on the back. Man, forgive me. It's been a long day. Um, but yeah, I've done all this myself. This has been years and years of just playing and playing and playing with it. Finally got it to a point where I'm done with it. Uh, I can shoot about 100 rounds of this and not even be beat up, honestly. And the reason why I say that is because this muzzle brake, I know it's going to be hard for y'all to see it, but the way it's made... It makes the nose of the gun dive down like a sub a little bit. So in actuality, you have to pull it to you to keep that shot because it wants to pull away from you. So which tremendously helps with the recoil. There's none of that, it's straight. You know, once you figure it out, it's straight. It's a level. Which goes to clear. So, uh, this is a PSL 54C. Come like this. This is not a Dragon Hog. This is imported by Sentry Arms. It does shoot the same cat cartridge though as the Dragon Hog. So does that last rifle I just had, 762x54R. Um, I went that round because at the time when I first got into guns, that was that was the creme de la creme to me. To me, please don't beat me, don't, you know, you ain't gonna beat me because we're not nowhere near each other, but figure of speech. Um, so that's why I built the Mosin. And after I built the Mosin, I was like, I'd love to own one of those. Never thought I would. Never, ever, ever thought I would. And uh, ran across it. And I had to have it. Because typically what would happen would be I'd get one, put it in a shopping cart, be saving up my dollars for it, you know, my lunch money. Because these are expensive, very expensive. Whether you find them in a private collection or gun show, which in private collection and gun show, you're going to pay more than if you find it online. Uh, gun broker, they're pretty hard to find with the scope too. This is, this is the one with the... Uh, on and off on there, the PO, the Russian PO. Uh, when it came time to acquire it, I had all my ducks lined up and I pulled the trigger. I pulled the trigger. I'm happy I did. I let my buddy Andy shoot and he was in love with it. Like, contemplating on getting him one. So, yeah, I mean, so far, it's dialed in at 300 yards. That's furthest as I've gotten it. Oh. Last but not least. Empty clear. Marine 50 BMG. Heavy. Like real heavy. So this is why I didn't buy the 
Ruger Precision and 338 Lapua. Because, granted, it's a single shot 50 BMG, which I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. Because I got a 50. I got a 50. Everybody can't say they got a 50 BMG. Regardless of what it is. I'm not famous. None of that. Hard working American. You know what I mean? I work hard just like everybody else do. I saved my lunch money up for this. Like, yeah. A lot of gut rumbling at lunch. But it was worth it to me. Yeah. So, don't knock me. I mean, if you're going to get in the comments and beat me up about it, send me pictures of yours. If you ain't got the big boy and it's not laced up, please don't come for me because I'm cool. I'm good. Uh, Vortex Diamondback. I got the Vortex Diamondback 60, uh, 60 24 by 50 on here. Um, last time I took it out, I hit target, I hit paper, I didn't say, I'm not going to lie to you and say target, I hit paper at 300 yards, but I was literally beat up from just the heat, shooting this thing all day, and I mean, I don't even like carrying it, it's cool, I got a, I got a case with wheels, because it's so heavy, but now it's in at 300. I just ain't had a chance to take it back out and dial it in, dial it in. But hey, it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere but back in the safe. But with that being said, ATF, once again, let me reiterate. At 37 millimeters, non-destructive. Fireworks. Um, yeah. This is part three. Let me know what you think. You know, go back, check out the video of the handgun collection, the AR pistols and the other ARs and stuff, you know. I mean, I ain't gonna tell you I got no pressure because I got that stuff to shoot that pressure. You know what I mean? Blow your coat, clothes back, throw your dreads back, you know what I mean, like me. So, I'm not going to say it's pressure because it speaks for itself, but yeah. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Give me a thumbs up, drop a like. You know, you want to hate, throw a negative, throw a thumbs down, that's cool too. But it is what it is. I mean, uh, give me your opinion. Let me know what you would take. What would be your best piece out of the collection, you think? You know, what do you think is my favorite piece? You know what I mean? I kind of gave out a few hints, a few clues. You know what I mean? Uh, thanks again to everybody subscribe who's passing me around. You know, <laughs> I know that sounds funny. Let me reiterate who's sharing the, the uh, links, the videos, the shorts. Um, everybody who's supporting me and Pootie, we appreciate you, y'all. For real, y'all don't know how much we appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? This was something that my boys had been on me about doing, so I did this kind of just to do it. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to go famous or rich off of it, none of that. You know? I'm just showing the world what I got. So with that being said, thank y'all. Yeah. I'm out.